What if I told you I got my eye on you? I just did. What if I told you everything that we thought was true has not been? Desolate heritages have we, Isaiah 49, 8. Not a popular message, but what the message truth is will change this world for love, peace, and bring back harmony. Does that sound interesting? Does it sound worth maybe being open-minded about? Does it, does it uh, warrant proving? I hope so. So here we go. And uh, this little light of mine is shining over me. It lights itself every day. And praise the Lord for miracles because the, the, the miracle of uh, the word of God of Zechariah 4 prophecy is manifesting there. So praise, praise, love, whom Isa Yeshua, Jesus, our risen Lamb of God is. For he is the good shepherd over all the flocks of man. John 10, 15, 16. So let the Catholics and the Protestants, Jews, Muslims, Hindus, Buddhists, Hyperians, Satanists, Agnostics, Atheists, let all the theists, all the isms, Sikhism, uh, Mormonism, Scientology, let all people say hello. <laughs> and let them begin looking upwards together in unity that Jesus prayed for in the Garden of Gethsemane. One, united, we stand, divided, we will fall. As our living peace joins us all by humming along to our high praises, as we lift them up to his great white throne on high, as he has sent forth his everlasting gospel through his everlasting gospel writer, who I am of Revelation 14. It is the first video under this channel, and it's probably about uh, 15 videos back. It's also time for, the, for mankind to comprehend that every religious soul within the three biggest religions, which are uh, pretty well, well, we're all just a breath away from death, everybody. In the meantime, it's just plain silly for anyone not to be working respectfully together in unity because our light of love and our light of unity is so utterly powerful, it could easily illuminate the whole world if we will just stand behind it. And it'll destroy the darkness ahead of us as we arise in victory. We are overcomers of the overcomer and the victory of all victory. For all God-loving souls are only as strong as they are united and we're as weak as we are divided. No more should people remain poor in spirit. It's time for meat. Who shall feed the master's household meat while the master is still away? Jesus asked everyone in Matthew 24 for these latter days of Isaiah 2 that say so for these latter days of Micah 4 that say so when peace would come by the latter days of Daniel 12 uh, 13 when the latter day Daniel would come it say so latter day and by the uh, latter days of all of all of that in the latter days of Jeremiah 30 24 it says so latter days when God would say, I shall return my terrifying anger and stop the fast rising great tribulation if you give me the desire of my heart to stand together as a brotherhood of man and arise united in love who I am. For those who love are born of God and know God because God is love. 1 John 4, 7. And those who love, the bottom line is, for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten love so whosoever would love should not perish, but have everlasting love. And if you had your love light on, you are good. You have not committed the unforgivable sin. Doesn't matter what the hell you believe. According to his kingdom age covenant, which invites ignorance. Once you have this message under your 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 head, in your brain, where it should be, 
No more shall anyone need to be taught about God anymore. I am Daniel, the messenger of the covenant of Malachi 3.1, Jeremiah 31.33, that is the covenant uh, to 35. And praise the Lord, I am Shiloh, uh, one whose eyes are dull and red of wine, the alcoholic of Habakkuk 2, uh, and the just shall live by my faith, even though I've been, uh, uh, I say, eyes dull and red of wine, Genesis 49, 12. Even though I have been transgressed by wine, Habakkuk, King James. Why? Because I shall become as hell, and I shall never be uh, satisfied as I become greedy as hell uh, to embrace all people of the earth for the one world religion of the good shepherd over all the flocks of man, and they shall come because I have disproven the invalidity of his voice that religion gave him. Uh, they added the words, but you must believe or do something. Uh, to believe was never a part of anything. Um, our righteousnesses as filthy rags, our understandings of prophecy, all of it has been of no importance at all because his love is transcendent and his kingdom age covenant well proves it if anybody will have ears to hear. So know this, beloved, that a time of man's unity shall now explode for we're going to sink or swim together for a man has learned to fly in the air as birds and to swim in the ocean as a fish therefore it's the hour that martin luther king foresaw when all true followers of the lord god almighty allah elohim adonai isa yeshua jesus the word of god um that all true followers uh, they will never more hold any bad will towards those of other faiths, for it's the purest insanity of all madness for any man to hate another because of what he believes in his faith or lack of it. And for that reason, Muslim man, the Christian man, Jewish man, and all men must now learn how to walk together while praising the very same God. And uh, it is foretold in Micah 4, in peace, uh, all shall walk together under the name of their own gods. And it doesn't matter who, who what God you want to believe, because there is only one, and his name is love. And he loves so much. He's the perfect God of love who has perfect forgiveness because his word declares so, uh, his restored word of uh, Jeremiah 31, because he says to all of us, I will forgive your iniquity and I shall never remember it. Does It means that he doesn't see any of us as we are and all of us as we will be. The second we die, we are as sinless as the day we were born. So know ye not, O lovers of Allah, uh, our most beneficent one, uh, and to all Christians, uh, I state the words of Muhammad when he says, that all must stand upon the gospel, must stand fast upon the gospel, the law, and all revelation that comes unto you from the Lord. And this is all prophecy coming to pass. And Paul said that concerning such, such must be uh, examined most carefully in all that's good and brave. Problem is, people are so damn religious, shallow as a glass of water, that they won't even look at anything, nothing. I wasted all of my time in vain for about 20-something years. Uh, I wrote a, um, it took me 24 hours, 48 half-hour videos to record my Passion of Christ from this book. It's way down, uh, I don't know, 100 videos down or whatever. But uh, the bottom line is it's the most passionate rendering of the good news and I could not give it away. I could not get anyone to look at it, comment on it. Total rejection. That's all I've known for 20 something years. So uh, people not responding to me is okay with me because I'm doing this for my love for Christ. So know ye not, O lovers of Christ, Allah, uh, Elohim, Adonai, whatever you want to call him, our most beneficent one, that the invisible things from his creation are always clearly seen by him. Therefore, mankind is left without any excuse because his overflowing glory has always been declared by the heavens and by all that he has given breaths unto. Consequently, Emmanuel shall strongly be reinforcing the common sense truth that multitudes uh, are now clearly standing guilty 
over killing others for reasons other than self-defense. But much greater is the shame of the hypocrites that kill over disagreements, rising over how faith in God's love should come forth. Killing over love, it is the most ridiculous thing and the, the misunderstanding of his love. Furthermore, it's only justice according to the natural laws of the Almighty that he'll be placing logic deep within many hearts in order to produce just, just judgments. And uh, there shall not be a judgment for sin, but a judgment for reward. If he judged us for any sin, his word would become a lie. Because he says in Jeremiah 31, that I shall forgive your iniquity and never remember it. If he remembered our judgments at judgment day, he would be a liar. Now, therefore, our Lord God, living God of love, now says unto all people of God, you will attain justice only when you press in towards my great white throne of love. And then will the peers understand that when I soon return as their Messiah, Isa, Yeshua, Jesus, this, uh, the same circumstances that I will catch many in, uh, I will also judge all foolish souls who aren't looking for my love for their transformation. And it's a judgment of rewards, people. You want to live in slums? Just don't care about nothing because you're the tares. Uh, the tares, all the wheat must leave anyways. If you don't believe in the prophetic word of God, there's no judgment about salvation. As long as you keep your love light on until the end, you're, you're fine. But if you do not believe God, it's time to separate. No more sitting on fences. The, the time is too short. Total oblivion of Zephaniah 1-1 is right around the corner. No more birds, no more fish, no more mankind, all destroyed. Uh, the earth in four or five pieces, Isaiah 24. The only death in front of us, uh, Deuteronomy 18-18. Uh, Jesus said the same thing, Matthew 24, 22, total oblivion. Uh, and uh, Malachi says the same thing, utter destruction of earth, Malachi 4, 6. People, get it into you. We have nothing but bad news ahead if you will not embrace this good news. So let the beloved of the house of Muhammad's highest praises of Allah now gain energy from he that is full of strength and exalted in might, nor should anyone fear that Allah, uh, Isa, Yeshua, Jesus, Adonai, Elohim, whatever you want to call him, could fail at being the keeper of all promises that have been made unto all those calling out his magnified names of the greatest influence. So let every Muslim, Christian, and Jew, and every Hindu, and uh, right-thinking person that wants peace constantly now bow down unto love whom we all believe in. We all love. Every single one of us loves, unless we're mentally ill and we let it go out. Uh, for this is the most miraculous time of wonder and a marvelous season for some brand new answers to many weird questions of, of man. As uh, our Lord God now sends glad tidings from the living word of God, Isa Yeshua, Jesus, Emmanuel, our God with us anew, for he shall return as God with us, because we are angels in the flesh, his angels of uh, the latter days, uh, who was revealed. Uh, all, all creation was groaning with great expectation. Who are we? We are gods. John 10, Jesus said so. Take it up with him. I'm just the messenger. And that's what he meant. The glory of his latter house, greater than that of the former. We are angels in the flesh. We've always been. And then shall that minister of truth end up teaching multitudes that whosoever does what is right, they shall be embraced ever so tightly by he that is the clement, the logical, the rational, and the exactor of all reason. It is time to understand that love for life.